Alright, so what just happened here on a molecular level? Well, we have our tarnish. So the silver sulfide tarnished coin plus aluminum foil in a solution of baking soda gives you your polished silver and then the aluminum foil actually forms an aluminum sulfide layer over the aluminum foil. So what's happened in this reaction is the silver is silver sulfide is actually an ion. So remember that it's an silver always forms plus one ions. Remember the stair step? Silver always forms plus one, zinc forms plus two, and aluminum forms plus three. So when we said silver sulfide, well that's an ionic compound of silver ions and sulfide anions. Remember sulfide always forms a negative two charge because it's in group 6A and wants to gain two more electrons to get that happy octet of eight. So we're going to have silver ions plus sulfide ions. Well, you're going to need two silver cations to balance out that negative two sulfide charge. So the formula for silver sulfide is Ag2S because remember all ionic compounds are neutral. So our silver sulfide tarnish has a formula Ag2S. Again, silver has a plus one charge. There's two of them, so you have a positive two. Sulfides always form a negative two charge, so that has a negative two over here. Overall, ionic compound is neutral. So now, aluminum foil. Aluminum foil just has a formula of Al solid. That means that's just, it's in the form of its element, aluminum foil. It's just aluminum element. That means all of the atoms have the same number of protons corresponding to aluminum. So now we need to look at the periodic table. Aluminum has 13 protons. So you can see, so when we say aluminum solid, that means that you've got a whole bunch of atoms shoved together that all have 13 protons. They also have 13 electrons to make it a neutral atom. Again, metals bond a little differently and you'll actually have loose electrons out there to conduct electricity, but again, when you look at it on an atomic level, when we say aluminum solid, we just mean all of those aluminum atoms have 13 protons and 13 neutrons. So, okay, our silver sulfide, our tarnish, plus our aluminum solid metal foil in an aqueous solution of baking soda. And remember, aqueous just means dissolved in water, and it was warm. So sometimes you'll see a little heat change sign. That just means you added heat. The heat actually will just speed up the reaction and make it happen before your very own eyes. So we put in baking soda water, aluminum foil, and silver sulfide, and you watched it turn back into our shiny, beautiful silver, and then the aluminum foil forms sul aluminum sulfide. So let's continue writing our chemical reaction. So silver will have, it's just Ag solid. So Ag solid just means that all of those atoms in that sample of silver have 47 protons. So we'll go back look at the periodic table and we see, okay, yes, silver has 47 protons and it forms, again, a plus one charge in, in an ionic compound, but this is not an ionic compound. This is silver solid. All of those atoms are neutrally charged. They have 47 protons, 47 electrons. Aluminum sulfide, the byproduct though, that is an ionic compound. It's made up of a cation of aluminum and an anion of sulfide. So let's think about this. Okay, our aluminum, we, always, we knew that it always forms a plus three charge, and sulfide always forms a two minus charge. And sulfide, remember, was in group 6A, so it only needs two more electrons. So we'll look in the periodic table. Sulfur is in group 6A, it only needs two more electrons to have the same electron configuration as this very stable argon noble gas. So sulfur will form a two minus charge. 
aluminum forms a plus three, so what ratio are we gonna need to form a neutral ionic compound? Well, we're gonna need two aluminums with three sulfurs to get a balanced neutral charge. We'll have a positive six and a negative six, so our overall compound will be neutral if we have a formula Al2S3. Again, Al2 just means there's two atoms of aluminum. S3 means there's three atoms of sulfur, so in our aluminum sulfide. So, step back, let's look at our overall reaction. We have silver sulfide plus aluminum, giving silver solid and aluminum sulfide. Now, is this equation balanced? No. Let's see, what do you want to balance first? Let's go ahead and balance the sulfurs. So there's three over here in the products. Now let's add a three in the reactant. So now the sulfurs are balanced and our silvers are not. Our silver, hmm, we need to put six silvers to get them balanced. Oh man, but we forgot about the aluminum. So now there's two over here, so we'd put a two over here. And now let's check. We've got six silvers, six silvers, two aluminums, two aluminums, three sulfurs, three sulfurs. All right, we're good. We have a balanced equation for this reaction. Now I ask you, which was oxidized and which substance was reduced? Well, we know that the silver went from silver ions back to the silver solid. And remember, electrons are negatively charged, so you've actually lost an electron to go from silver cation. No, I said that wrong. Would you lose an electron or gain an electron? Well, you'd gain one electron. So, plus one electron would give you silver solid neutral. So, we've actually gained electron. And remember, Leo says Ger, or oil rig, either way, but loss of electrons is oxidation. Gain of electrons is reduction. We have gained an electron, it is reduced. Or I like to think also just the charge went from a plus one down to a zero. Because remember, all elements in their naturally occurring state have an oxidation state of zero. So it was reduced. So the silver is ions are reduced to the silver solid when we are polishing our silver using this electrochemical method. The aluminum foil goes from aluminum solid to aluminum cations, so they are oxidized. It loses electrons, so you'd have three electrons lost from that aluminum solid. Oxidation is loss of electron, or loss of electrons is oxidation. So you went from a zero oxidation state up to a three, Aluminum is oxidized, the silver is reduced. This is a redox or redox reaction between the aluminum foil and silver sulfide.